What's up guys, it's John and welcome to my 2018, no, 2019 NCAA tournament bracket. Um, I did one of these, la uh, not last year, but two years ago and I was abysmal. I did one of these last year and I started off well and didn't do so good. Uh, I didn't do last year on, U on YouTube. I've done, I've done a bracket every year since 2010, so I'm, believe it or not, I haven't had a perfect bracket yet. Um, I'm not going to talk about, like, at-large stuff because I did terribly, I had temple belmont and where are they arizona state all out of the field and i had uh nc state texas and tcu in the field so i didn't do so good um so i'm sure my picks are going to be just as good i'm sure so let's go ahead and start with that duke is going to be I, I think probably north dakota state i don't know doesn't really matter neither these teams are any good duke will win I bet you there's going to be a huge uptick in people taking 16s this year. I'd be absolutely stunned if any of the <laughs> any 16 won in the next 10 years. Um, VCU versus UCF. Uh, my girlfriend goes to UCF, so I feel like I'm uh, I feel like I'm obliged to take UCF, but at the same time, I think VCU is actually better, so I'm going to go with VCU here. Um, Mississippi State over Liberty. I think a lot of people are going to take Liberty, but I like Mississippi State more than most, and I like Liberty less than most. Um, Virginia Tech versus St. Louis. Feels weird seeing St. Louis on the 13 line, but I guess that's what happens when you're nowhere near the bubble and you win your league. So there you go. Um, I think Virginia Tech wins. I'm going to apologize in advance. This this first round is going to look rather rather chalky, but um, I I hope I'll make up for it. Um, here I think Temple will win in the first four, and I think Maryland will beat Temple. Uh, came pretty close to taking Yale this year, but I am going to take LSU. I do think uh, they go at least this far just because of the talent disparity. Um, Louisville feels like they're kind of coming in colder, and Minnesota feels like they're a bit hotter. Um, plus, I think Minnesota is better overall, so I will take the go the Gophers to beat Louisville. Here, I like Michigan State to beat Bradley. I'm not going to pick against Izzo in the first round, just in general. Um, down here in the West bracket, I'm taking Gonzaga over. I think it'll be Prairie View. I think Prairie View is the best uh, 16 seed that's in Dayton. And I actually think they're the second best 16 overall behind Gardner-Webb. Um... So, but I will take uh, the Zags. Uh, Syracuse versus Baylor. Syracuse is the, even though I go to Bama, Syracuse is the primary team I root for. And because of that, I'm taking Baylor because I don't want to jinx Syracuse. And also, I think Baylor is genu genuinely better eat, eat, like anyway. As good as Tyus Battle is, I think Baylor has the best player on the floor in Makai Mason. Marquette versus Murray State. I came into this bracket... I'm saying I wasn't going to take Murray State. Like, going into Selection Sunday, I'm not going to take Murray State because the thing is, John Morant is going to be more athletic than just about anyone, but uh, the Power Conference teams are generally going to be closer to John Morant's athleticism, and I feel like generally the way a Cinderella run ha happens is it usually happens with hot shooting rather than someone just being bigger and better than everyone else. Uh that's why that's why Florida Gulf Coast run a few years ago, Dunk City was so wild because, uh, you know that's that's the anomaly. That's not how most runs happen. They usually happen with either with like fast tempo and uh, and hot shooting. That being said, Marquette is really cold, and I'm gonna take Murray State. Uh, Marcus Howard versus John Morant. It's gonna be very fun though. Uh, Florida State versus Vermont. Florida State confounds me every season. I always get them wrong. Um, I had them in my Final Four, I think, two years ago when they were a three seed, and they they shit the bed. Uh, last year, I had them out in the first round, and they go to the Elite Eight, so I don't know what's going on. I'm taking Vermont. Vermont usually does well in these four, four V13s. They beat Syracuse like a while ago in one of these. They almost beat Purdue a few years ago. I like Vermont in this one. Uh, Buffalo, I think it'll be St. John's, and I think St. John's actually wins. Usually one of these teams from Dayton does beat their, like, five or six seed, and I think that trend continues here with, uh, with the Johnnies, as good as Buffalo is. Um, Texas Tech versus Northern Kentucky, I'm taking Texas Tech. I'm not even going to think about that one. I'm not going to doubt Chris Beard until he gives me a reason to. Uh, Nevada against Florida. 
I think Nevada is the new Wichita State where you have this team that's got a ton of talent, but unfortunately due to like conference circumstances and uh, schedule circumstances didn't really have the wins to show for. As hot as Florida is right now, I think in any other 7-10 matchup, I would probably take them. Oh, that's not true, actually. Um, but I think I think the, the Wolfpack are the better team here. Uh, and then Michigan versus Montana. I'm going to take Michigan. This game is going to be probably unwatchable, just like last year's game was. Uh, South region. Can't wait for a bunch of people who have never heard of Gardner-Webb to pick them. I'm going to take UVA. I'm not going to not going to do that. Uh, Ole Miss versus Oklahoma. I'm actually going to take Ole Miss here. Oklahoma is the hotter team right now, but I I think Ole Miss is probably a little bit more interesting uh, to play against Virginia, and so I'm secretly going to hope for them to win because of that anyway. Wisconsin versus Oregon. Again, it's weird to see Oregon on the 12 line. They were a Final Four team two years ago, but again, when you're nowhere near the bubble and you win your conference tournament, this is what happens. Um... And they're playing Wisconsin again for probably like tenth straight March Madness. I'm gonna take Wisconsin. Ethan Happ's better than anyone Oregon's got. Oregon next year will be very fun. This year, this game will probably still be fun, but I don't think they they're gonna advance. K State is probably the most like conditional team in this entire bracket for me. If they have Dean Wade, they have Final Four potential in this in this bracket. Um, without Dean Wade, I don't you know they could lose in the first round to UC Irvine. Uh, that being said, as dominant as UC Irvine was in their tournament, they haven't beaten anywhere in, anywhere in, or in, just in their conference. They dominated the Big West. Um, I think K-State's the – they haven't beaten anyone like K-State. I think K-State wins. Um, Nova versus St. Mary's. Hmm. As much as I want to take St. Mary's, uh, I think you know, Nova's the better pick here. I don't actually think St. Mary's is honestly all that good. As close as they were to the bubble, this is saying that they wouldn't have made it. That doesn't surprise me. They've only beaten anyone of Nova's caliber once this year, and that was, of course, Gonzaga. Um, Purdue versus Old Dominion. Old Dominion, I think, got kind of a raw deal here. I think Purdue's the strongest three seed. Um, and Old Dominion, I I might have taken them against LSU, and I might have taken them against Houston, but I'm not going to take them against Purdue. I think the Boilers advance. Uh, Cincinnati versus Iowa. Cincinnati's hot. Iowa's not, so Cincinnati, easy. Tennessee versus Colgate again. Uh, I think Colgate's probably the weakest 15 seed. Maybe maybe Abilene Christian might be weaker, but Colgate's kind of not so great. They were the second best team in a not so good Pat League. They might have been the third best actually. They might be worse than Lehigh. Uh, I'm gonna take the balls to beat Colgate. Uh, and then finally down here, UNC over Iona. Iona might be the worst 16 seed. Uh, besides NC Central, I'll say, and UNC is strong, so easy. Utah State versus Washington. As much as I'd like to see Utah State win, I do think Washington is going to, like, I don't know, just dominate. I don't know. I feel bad saying that because Utah State's a very good team. I think this is just a raw deal for them. Uh, although, I don't know, Washington looked like shit against Oregon, so I don't know. Uh, Auburn, New Mexico State. I make the mistake to go with New Mexico State every year. And I don't think they've. I think they've yet to win a single like first round game, uh, in the like twenty seven straight NCAA tournament appearances they have. Uh, so I'm gonna take Auburn, Kansas versus Northeastern. Northeastern. That's probably gonna be my like weirdest pick, because I don't even really believe in Northeastern that much. But at the same time, I think Kansas is just in an impossible situation. I think Bill Self's done an incredible job getting them even this high of a seed because. Without Doke, they just don't look the same. Uh, not having DeSouza, so that's two huge guys that they were probably counting on having this whole season, or at least for a lot of the season that they just don't have. And uh, because of that, if yeah, because of that, I think Northeastern wins this one. I would have taken probably any 13 against them, uh, especially because I think uh, North Northeastern is actually the weakest 13. Uh, out of these, Iowa State and Ohio State, I'm taking Iowa State to win this one. I don't put a ton of stock into conference tournaments, but Iowa State is hot in general, and Ohio State's pretty much backsliding. They won the game they needed to against Indiana, and other than that, they haven't really done anything. Uh, and that Wisconsin, that game they played against Wisconsin still haunts me. They almost, they really damn near won it. Uh, Houston versus Georgia State. 
I'll, as much as I like Georgia State and as much as I think Houston's the weakest three seed, and, uh, I'm still going to go with the, the Cougs. Wofford versus Seton Hall. Um, let's let's see here. Oh, all right. This doesn't really bring up where where what I was hoping they would. Wow, Wofford is really ranked to 128 in the in the RPI. Golly, the RPI is broken. Um, Wofford's the the media darling right now. They're the team that they ran the ran the table in the SoCon. They they're a top 15, I think, in the NET. Top 15 or top 20 in Kempom. Uh, but Seton Hall is also really hot. I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take Hall to win. And then here, Kentucky versus Abilene Christian, Kentucky. I mean, come on. What do you expect from me? So second round, Duke versus VCU. Give me Duke. I'd love to see VCU win it, but uh, yeah, Duke. Uh, I will take Mississippi State to beat Virginia Tech here. I don't know. Virginia Tech spooks me for some reason. I just don't really know what to expect from them, but I, I, like, I like State here. Uh, I'm going to take Maryland over LSU. Uh, I th- I really do think this uh this coach Will Wade situation is gonna gonna doom them to a, a f- like a, a first weekend exit. Plus I th- I I like Maryland more than most, so we'll see what happens there. Minnesota versus Michigan State. Oh man, I just realized that's a Big Ten matchup in the second round. That's kind of weird. Um, but I guess when you get what the conference got eight teams in, or did they get seven? No, they got eight. Yeah, I guess that'll happen then. Whatever, I like Michigan State. I'm not going to pick against Izzo, especially in the second game of a weekend. Uh, Sweet 16, first round, final four. I think he's all uh, he's all game, but he's the better than anyone at. Or I'm sorry, I have it. I have this switched. I guess. Sorry, that's not good. That's not good reasoning. I am taking Michigan State there though. Uh, down here, Gonzaga over Baylor. I do think Baylor is good. I think the Zags are maybe the most solid team in the field so i'm going to take the zags murray state beats vermont again this kind of goes back to you know athleticism doesn't really make cinderella runs but against a vermont team that's kind of more on murray state's caliber i don't really know how vermont's gonna hang with them uh texas tech versus st john's give me t tech get into the second weekend and I'm taking Nevada to upset Michigan. I think Nevada might actually have more talent than Michigan, uh, which I think says a lot about the coaching job that Beeline's done this year. But Nevada's real good. Uh, up here, I'm going to take Virginia over Ole Miss. I don't know. Every round I take Virginia, I just feel so sketched. But uh, talent-wise, this should be a no contest. Um, I'm going to take Wisconsin here. I'm, I'm erring on the side of caution here. Um, because even with Dean Wade, uh, Wisconsin is still going to have the best player on the court. They're going to have the best player on the court against nearly everyone that's not Duke or, uh, like Tennessee. I don't know. So, tough break for K-State. I really want to see them go far. I've always had a soft spot for K-State. Uh, here, uh, Nova versus Purdue. I'll take Purdue here. Nova goes out first weekend. I think it's honestly phenomenal that... Jay Wright even has him here, to be honest. But I don't know. As much as uh, Carson Edwards kind of sketches me out, uh, Purdue is just real solid. Uh, and then here, since it, Tennessee might have the most raw deal in the entire field. This is one of those things that Kentucky always seems to have. Uh, and this year it's Tennessee, which I guess isn't that far off. Where it, like how how do you end up? So Cincinnati is the seven seed. And, they were probably a seven seed coming into the American tournament, and they dominated Houston and just swept right through it. And they get a seven seed still, and they're in in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Like, how does this happen? I feel really bad for Tennessee if they make it to the second week, and that's a pretty great accomplishment, and they can make the Final Four from there. But uh, ah, uh, this is just a raw deal for Tennessee. Uh, and then down here, I like UNC over Washington. I think that's a bad matchup for UW. Uh, Auburn beats Northeastern. There's no way in hell I'm taking Northeastern in the second weekend, uh, which means they're, they'll end up making it there, just because I said that. Uh, Iowa State beats Houston. Again, I would have probably picked this before the Big 12 tournament, but Iowa State has, has kind of proven that they can win tournament games. So uh, in most years, Iowa State does like match or slightly exceed expectations in the tournament. I think UAB is the only time I can think of where they uh, where they didn't. Um, and then here, uh, Kentucky beats Seton Hall. 
that's a rematch. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah. So this is my Sweet 16. Uh, from here, Duke beats Mississippi State. Michigan State beats Maryland. I have it wrong. Izzo's really good on the first game uh, of, like, a game weekend, I guess, because, I don't know, he just prepares better than just about anyone else. I don't know. So Duke versus Michigan State in the Elite Eight. Uh, and that was the second straight. That was the second straight Big Ten versus Big Ten matchup for Michigan State. That's kind of a, a weird little quirk of the bracket. Gonzaga beats Murray State. Um, I think Jaw runs into some problems there. And uh, I actually have Nevada beating Texas Tech as well. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like picking against Chris Beard, but uh, I think Nevada's the more talented team, honestly. Uh, Virginia beats Wisconsin in a game that's probably going to end like 47-42. to 42. Not going to be fun, but Virginia wins. And then, uh, no, you know what I'm saying? I, I say that Virginia Virginia's offense is better than that. It might be 57-52. to 52. Uh, And then here I do take uh, Purdue to beat Cincinnati. Um, because Cincinnati hasn't made it to the Elite Eight under Mick Cronin. I know that's a dumb reason, but uh, I don't know. UNC versus Auburn, I think UNC wins easily. Kentucky versus Iowa State, I think Kentucky wins easily. So, yeah, kind of, kind of chalky from here. I don't know. I feel like this is my Sweet Sixteen's a little, a little saucy. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna take Duke over Michigan State. Izzo just never seems to beat Coach K, and I don't think that changes here. I think Gonzaga beats Nevada. Man, that would be awesome to see an all like non-power seven. Depends on if you count the American non-Power 7, like, basketball team, like, matchup in the Elite Eight. That would be kind of fun. Uh, Virginia-Purdue, I think Purdue wins. I really hate this. This is definitely my most sketchy pick of the bracket, but I don't know. Purdue's got the raw efficiency. And then North Carolina beats Kentucky. Um, then So now we got Final Four. Duke beats Gonzaga. North Carolina beats Purdue. And I think North Carolina actually wins the, the fourth duke unc matchup of the year this has never happened i don't think duke and unc have ever played in the tournament but uh i'm gonna go with 81 to 73 in favor of north carolina and i'm not gonna enter either of these because i don't like the emails so there you go that's my that's my that's my picks for this year um i might revisit this come sweet 16 and do a little bit of uh bracket analysis i did that two years ago that was kind of fun um, so yeah, 